the quick sampler now has a record mode. I'm going to use one of these stems and throw it over into the project because I just want to show you how we can also use this in not just in the track, but to create a new track. So I've dragged that over. I want the quick sampler and that is going to sample that audio file that I've put in there and uh, now be ready to play. So we are in the sampler. We are going to tap on the plugins button here and then double tap on the quick sampler to bring up the sampler. Now as it is, it's using this, uh, this entire track and it's created is a pretty intricate looking sample here. Let's just see what it's done here and it could do it a quick play. Okay, very interesting stuff. It's sliced it up. It's used as automated slicer to slice up this bass loop into samples, which not really what we desired here. So we're going to tap on classic to turn it back to the classic mode. But in fact, we don't want to use this one. We actually want to record in our own samples. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap on that sample and I'm going to remove the current file. So we've got a blank sampler now. It just goes back to our default sound there, a little electric piano. And what we can do is record in our own sample. So to do that, up the top left of your sampler, of your quick sampler, there are different modes. There's classic one-shot slice and the new recorder mode. We're gonna tap on recorder. It now asks us to select a recording input and it's a little tricky to see. Uh, to be honest, I'd love this to be a bit improved because it's still not really easy to see how you do this. But in the very bottom left corner, there is an input button there. Tap on that one and it'll have your inputs as they are. So I've got my Steinberg UR22C interface plugged in. If I was just using the iPad audio, it would just say iPad audio, which you can do. You can just record straight into your iPad. I'm going to select input one here. I've got a microphone, which I'm going to pick up and test. Check one, two, three. And then there's a couple of ways to record here. There's a button down the bottom below, which is the record start option. You can either start immediately or wait for the signal to pass the threshold, which you can set here for the sampler. I personally like to just start immediately because we can then trim the sample to whatever we want. So I'd rather do that than perhaps miss the start of my sample. Let's, um, let's sample me doing a bit of a scream here, shall we? Uh, so we'll hit the record button. I've done a weird noise there. And that has recorded that sound in. If we tap on one of the keys on the keyboard. There you go. I sound like a, um, a very sick cat. So <laughs> what we can now do, though, is grab the handles here and uh, set the points of input and output, or the start and the end would be the actual correct words to use. Grab that end one. There it goes. So we've now set that so we can... <laughs> we can actually use this... <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun now. So you can sample in whatever you can record. So if you've got like a, say, in fact, I'm going to do a one more version here for you. I've got my bell here. So say I wanted to use my classic bell sound and get a real analog sound of this bell. I'm going to grab my microphone and we're going to do this one more time. So it's my sample.aif there. I'm actually going to remove the current file and we're going to do this again. I'm going to hit recorder. I'm going to hit the record button. And I've hit my bell. And then I'm going to stop. So we'll, we'll turn that off. So now we can do the same sort of thing. So if I tap on the sample here. And this could actually create a pretty cool little kind of toy keyboard sound. So I'm going to once again grab the start and put it right up here next to the start of the sound. So we can get it right on there. I'm going to grab the end. So now I can create my own instrument. With my bell sound. So how cool is that? A lot of fun to be had here with the quick sampler now that you can actually record in your own instruments. And to record it in, we just hit the record button, play it like any other instruments, and you are good to go.